panic disorders present a unique challenge to clinicians, as an essential component of the disorder is that patients fear having future panic attacks and thus often engage in avoidant behavior. You're going to see anxiety expert Reed Wilson work with Renee, a woman whose life has been severely restrained to the point where she's become agoraphobic. He uses a paradoxical approach, insisting that she demand they, that anxiety increase its symptoms and then You'll see how she responds. Another thing I would think would be on our list would be your thought about whether or not you would have a panic attack and how bad that would be, and the thought that that would be awful. I mm -hmm. think that that's working against you. Yes. Do you think that might be true? Yes, I'm sure it's true. Because you're thinking, well, I'm calm now, and maybe mm -hmm. I can be at a five. I hope I don't get to a six. It would be bad if I was at a seven. If I got to an eight, that would be awful, right? Yes. So, but I, I think I can do a five, but how do I know it's going to stay a five? So that's, that's the thing. you're like everybody else around that. It's, so I think we have to do something about changing your relationship in the moment of the anxiety. Do you, does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, what else do you want to be able to do that you're not doing, if anything? Uh, well, um, the general idea, what I keep saying to my husband, is I just want a normal life. 